All right, hey Pisces. So I'm doing a messages from their mind, heart, and soul. And this is for those in separation, you guys. Um, it doesn't matter the distance between the time of se separation. It doesn't matter if you were never committed to this person. All right, so I'm going to just start with a mutual energy card, and we're going to clarify that. And then we're going to see the intro, your energy, how you feel about this person, and what caused the separation. Um, so if you guys don't resonate with that energy, uh, check your other placements. And if you're new, welcome, you guys. I do hope that you would subscribe if you like my energy. So let's see what sits between you and this person on your mind. Pisces. All right. Oh, you guys are coming through with commitment. So the mutual energy, the mutual cravings, the mutual feelings is coming through as commitment, even if you can't see it right now. So when I do my reads, you guys, I like to think of everything in a positive manner um, because the more you elevate yourself, the more you can lift your spirits, the more you can have a desire and hope for that future, you're going to be able to call it in. It doesn't matter what the holdup is right now. Okay. So let's just get a little more clarity. All right. So mutual energy. We have the seven of cups, the four of the four of swords. Look at this. You got the chariot card coming through with the two of cups that popped out just as well. So I really feel like what's happening here is somebody could just maybe be not quite ready. It could be, you know, a combination of both your energy and their energy. Um, having to, I got a lot of stuff to do, you know, um, it could be children. It could be work. It could be just, I don't know if I want to get involved in that commitment, but what I'm going to say is this, you guys have a very deep connection. You both can feel it. Okay. It's a soulmate, um, definitely a soulmate uh, issue coming through here. And I'm saying issue like it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. It's just that's that it, energy can be really intense, um, for one or both of you, um, with the four of swords coming through, that's like a healing. It's just really thinking and processing the situation with um, a powerful desire to move forward for both you and this person. That chariot card, man, is it's, it's driving you guys into the future together. All right. So that's the, that's the craved mutual energy. Again, even if it doesn't feel like it right now, just have a little faith in yourself and what you signed up for. Okay. All right. So let's see what your energy is. Pisces, I feel like, you know what, you could be feeling a little conflicted. Um, you know, you have the three of pentacles coming through. This could have been like a friend with benefit situation, a casual situation that was kind of uh, growing too deep, too quick. Um, you have the world card coming through, which it, in reverse, it would say, you know, that you don't want the cycle to be done with. You don't want this uh, to be cycled out, but you also don't want to be strung along. And that could be, you know, where that five of wands is coming through. You're not playing games, you know. So the fear of commitment could come through on the person that's on your mind space. All right. But I really feel like you're, you're, it's like, I want to rebuild the connection. I want to, um, I want it to come back through the three of pentacles is building. It's like thought we were building towards something. I thought we were building towards the future, you know, and it could be even on these deep soul level connections, you guys, it doesn't mean that you're not going to have hiccups and problems. Um, obviously there's a, a transformation that needs to happen in this connection in order for it to actually proceed and kind of blossom. So let's see how you feel about this person. How do you feel about this person? They could be influenced by outsiders. Um, the queen of swords showing up in reverse, you know, they could have a lot of outside influences that kind of make you feel like you're an option. It could just be, you know, that, uh, it's like, I don't know, maybe this person isn't choosing the correct path. Okay. We have the two of coins coming through I feel like that's your energy kind of going back and forth on what you feel about this person but it doesn't mean that you don't feel like there is a deep connection um if anything what I'm gonna say is this energy that I pulled the mutual energy is probably more of a confirmation um and right here you know how you're feeling about this person is more about your the ego fears okay with the queen of swords coming through it could be that there is an ex um or family or friendships that are kind of involving themselves in the situation that really um, plays a, a, a huge influence on the one that you're dealing with. So outsiders' opinions matter, you know. I mean, that could be energy that you see. It could just be that this person is dealing with choppy people from the past. And um, you're kind of going back and forth about it. Because if they can't pull out of that energy, why would you want to... Um, why would you want to... Um, put yourself or, or place yourself in that energy. You know, we have justice card coming through and I really feel like that's more of your hopes 
saying that this person is going to come through and make the right choice and that decision is to kind of grow together. It's like really I feel like you're kind of you're looking to the universe to kind of step in and help guide the situation in the correct manner. It's almost like this person is dealing with people that is like not like you, you know, and you just know that through this person and how you guys connect that they're probably um, hanging around or associating or there's just people in their past that you don't resonate with. And I feel like your energy says if you're going to keep kind of going that route, then I'm going to pull my energy over here. That's just what I'm seeing. Um, you're not really sure how to take this person right now. Um, so with that being said, let's see what caused this separation. What caused the separation? Pisces. All right. So you got to keep in mind that this could be your energy. It could be their energy. We don't play blame. Um, okay. So we have the chariot card coming back through again, and it's almost like somebody's wanting to move forward. Okay. You have the Empress card. Here's the queen of cups coming through. We have the queen of swords in reverse. So I'm almost feeling like this person is dealing with somebody, um, outside of this connection. It doesn't have to be that they're cheating on anybody. I don't really feel that through this energy. Um, I have, seen it in another read there that I did feel it was active cheating. Um, but this one, I don't feel like that. I feel like this person could have a mother figure, um, an ex or somebody from their past. that's kind of derailing this connection. And with the Empress card coming through in reverse, I feel like that's your energy. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. What I'm, what I feel with the Empress card is basically, you're not going to allow anybody to, um, negatively, you know, interrupt your process of thriving and growth. Okay. I feel like you know where this connection has the potential to go, but if this person's going to hold up um, a beautiful process through the past, it's like, I'll just move forward. You know, I'm just going to move forward without you. And whenever you make up your mind or you can see what's kind of going on, you know, on your side of the, the field and my side, then you can make your own conclusion on whether to come forward or stay where you're at. Um, the reason why I'm saying that is because I feel like the Queen of Cups is representing that Queen of Swords in reverse. So this person could be dealing with people who are codependent. Um, you know, that could be um, ex situations. It could just be that their family is kind of keeping them. Um, their family relies on them or their friends rely on them. Um, and it's not that they want to choose any one person over the other, but it's almost like there's an obligation that I feel that comes through this energy. And I really feel like you're just like, I'm not going to sit around and wait, you know. So let's just see what you're meant to learn or take away from this connection. All right. So we have the Ace of Swords coming through. Um, that's the victory. That's um, a new beginning, a new start, and kind of pouring your energy, hopes, and, you know, your manifestations into that new beginning. I really feel like that's a confidence key for you. Okay. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and I feel like if you pulled your energy back and you guys are kind of sitting in this um, Empress energy, uh, th this is uh, supposed to bring a healing dynamic. Okay. So, you know, the five of swords coming through and, re you know, reverse is reconciliations. It's also waving the white flag and surrendering. Okay. So what I mean is you're just, it's, it is what it is type of mentality. Um, it's like, you're no longer going to allow people to have anyone hold over you and you're not going to let people feel, um, uh, make you feel like you're not important enough or like you don't matter because you know you do. Um, the Seven of Pentacles to me says that you've been through a lot of your own rough situations in the past. And this is kind of where every, all of those dynamics, they stop. All right. It's like, I'm not, it's like you've changed the way that you see yourself and the way that you allow people to see you and treat you. You know, it's like, I feel like it's a demand for respect. Okay. Um, and I really feel like uh, if you guys have been ones that have kind of waited and let the other people kind of take the role of leader, um, I feel like that's where that, again, that buck stops. It's like you're just making your own decisions to push forward. I really feel like this Ace of Swords is indicative of, um, well, healing, reconciliation, and moving forward, which you have not experienced through this connection quite yet. But I do feel like it'll get there. Again, just keeping your, your uh, vibrations raised, keeping your thoughts positive. Because I really feel like there's not any negative energy between you and this person. I just feel like it's the external, okay? So let's see what this person is meant to learn or take away from this connection. All right, so we have the Five of Cups coming through. Look at that, a missed opportunity potentially coming through for them. So what's going to happen through the separation, you guys, is basically this person's going to recognize and realize that the one of the best situations that ever could have came into them is potentially going to be gone, you know? So the Five of Cups is recognizing that they don't need to be there for all these people that are keeping them in this energy, all right? What they're going to re recognize is that you're here in the upright position because I really feel like this person 
I feel like they're being held down and I, I just, I, I, it's not a relationship. I just really feel like it's the energies around this person. It's almost like a toxic family or toxic friendships, or it's like this person has to do everything. It's the reliable one, the dependable one. And then you're over here and it's like they had to turn their back on you, you know, and I feel like they're going to have this epiphany, this realization that no, um, these people don't do anything for me. I should be over here with Pisces, you know, figuring out life. Um, and I really feel like this person comes through with this Knight of Cups energy back to you, you know, um, they're, they're recognizing where, what makes them happy. Um, this union, all right, merging with you, you have the Four of Wands here, which is, I really feel like this person can see, um, you know, life in the distance with you. And I feel like that, that's what this person is meant to take away from this connection. Um, you stay stuck in the past. You don't ever move forward and you never grow. And they see growth with you. And you guys have not reached this point yet. So that's why I say this connection is not over with. So let's see what you both want. What you both want with this connection. Look at that. You got that Hierophant card and the, the Four of Wands. That's marriage, you guys. That is commitment. Look at that. You have the Three of Cups coming through with union, unity, celebrations, happiness, joy. All right. This Sun card coming through. You both want happiness through this connection. And you could both see that. I'm going to tell you, you keep your energy tucked in until they come forward, Pisces. So let's see what comes next. What is happening next? Look at that. They're coming back. You got communication coming through. The return of the past. And I really feel like this warm, loving, positive energy through the Six of Cups is basically you guys making plans for the future. You got balance. You got stabilization. You got success coming through with the Six of Coins. And the Queen of Wands, this is you. This is the fireball. This is the, the one that this person is passionate about. And I feel like that's that mutual fiery energy that sits between you and this person. All right, which is beautiful. I just really feel like I don't want to I don't want to lose out on the best thing that ever crossed paths with me. So let's see what this person wants to tell you. Messages from the mind, heart and soul. Messages, oh, look at that. Mind, heart and soul. Wow. Look at this. Okay, so messages from the mind. You got the star card coming through, which is basically your everything that I could have ever dreamed, hoped for fantasized about all right i just want to I, I, I gotta cast i have to cast out and i want to pull you back in all right this person is very much um in a positive mindset in their ego body this person sees you as a humanitarian they see you as inspiration um and i really feel like your your energy has helped kind of pull this person into this realization that what they're up to now the type of energy that they feel they are locked into you pull them out of that all right and from the heart space with the five of pentacles it's like look i don't want to leave you this person is well enough aware all right that they they can make a, a sound decision okay in their heart space it's like i know i'm only hurting myself um with the five of pentacles it's like yeah i am throwing myself a pity party because i don't know what to do but it's like I do know what to do, but I don't, but I do. Well, you know what? You live your life for yourself. And that's why I'm telling you, you wait for this person to come back through as they come in with the King of Pentacles energy at a soul level. I know I need to be your king. I know I need to make the right decisions. All right. It's like, let me come back and correct the situation. You got uh, the Queen of Wands. You got the King right here at the end. And this is your, your, your couple. This is your commitment. This is you guys coming together and recognizing this connection. So just be patient as everything unfolds, Pisces. All right, let's pull some initials to see who we're talking to. If your initials are not here, that's fine, you guys. The energy comes from the card. So you have X, Y, E, P, H, W. Pisces, I love you guys. Um, take care. Keep your thoughts and your, uh, your thoughts harmonious and keep your comments positive, you guys.